Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, welcome back to Playframe, and welcome back to Cosmo Canyon over there. Remember like a week or so ago when Red mentioned, hey, we could ask Grandpa about, you know, things, what to do, plans? So, uh, <laughs> we're finally going to take some of that advice. Hello. Oh, it's you. This is terrible. The color of that unlucky star. The children are all so scared that they won't even go outside. I'd rather not see it either. I know how you feel. We're working on it. I went ahead and got red in the party, which reminds me, actually, let's go ahead and, while we have them, use some of these items, well, just the one item, really. There you are. Cosmo memory. Right, I've got it. Perfect. I think everybody in the crew here should have their final limit break now, yes? Clouds is now equipped. Tifa also equipped. At this point, there's only so many battles left in the game. I kind of figure we better go ahead and set all these to level four. If we want to get lucky enough to see everybody's final limit break. Seeing all of them at this point, unlikely. Which is okay. I'm sure there's like 50 videos on YouTube if you want to see what everybody's limit breaks look like. Anyhow. Boogan! I have finished doing literally everything else of interest. I am ready to resume world saving. And I'm sure I can remember how to get tier... Here we go, yes. I always take one wrong turn on the way up here, at least. Go again. Hello. Ho ho ho! If you ever are in need of my wisdom, you're always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we came. What to do? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a good long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Something buried, or something forgotten. Remember it. Whatever that is, it must certainly be what you're all looking for. That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. It must be there. Look harder. No good. Cloud, let's have the others come. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Somebody on our team has to be good at thinking. Who'd be the person on our team best equipped to think? It's actually not a long list in this party now that I think about it. Do you see it? What is it that you're searching for? Nope, not a thing. No, can't come up with a thing. Before we continue on, who's the smartest person in this party? I think you could make a decent argument for most of the characters in the party, but I don't say that in a way that is necessarily flattering to the party. That's mostly just that everyone seems on a kind of equivalent level of not the thinkiest. <laughs> I feel like lots of Final Fantasy crews have their sort of the smart one <laughs> or the sharp one or intelligent one. And we have some who I think could be up there. Tifa's got a pretty good head on her shoulders. Barrett does too. About some things. Kate Sith, I guess. Hufie, no. Vincent, hmm. Red is pretty sharp or Red acts pretty sharp, but is also a kid. Sid is kind of smart, I guess. Like, they're all kind of smart, I guess. <laughs> it's not our strong suit. No high intelligence scores in the Final Fantasy VII crew. 
me either. I don't get any of this. I remember Aerith a lot. No, not that. You haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. And that's not it. How would you say it? Aerith was right there all along, right by our side. She was so close, we couldn't see her. What Aerith did, the words she left behind. That reminds me, I was the same. As was I. Me too. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Aerith is gone. Is it impossible for us to carry on what Aerith tried to accomplish? We ain't no ancients, if that's what you mean. What, did that girl go off to that place? It, it really feels like the localization's kind of... Like, it's been a little bit rough from the start. It definitely has felt like the further it's gone on, the more shaky it's gotten. Or maybe it's more that, like, the further it's gone on, the more characters may be involved in a conversation, and the more context is not necessarily inherent to the conversation. So, depending on what context the translator had, the less they the more they were just having to take shots in the dark. <laughs> or the further they went on, the more time crunch they were feeling and the more they were having to just go, go, go. Either way, it does definitely... It, it definitely feels like Seven Rebirth has lots of opportunities to clarify a lot of what was meant to be going on here. That's it. What's it? We don't know about it. What did Aerith know? Why did she face Sephiroth without running away? I see. She returned there once again, correct? Hmm. Perhaps I'll have you take me there. You're going too. What's so surprising about that? Even I want to get out from time to time and see the outside world. I wonder what did it. I haven't felt like this in ages. It must be the planet. The planet's calling you. Yeah, whew, boy, the planet's calling. Right. <laughs> oh, then let's go. Oh, yeah, Bugenhagen. I have one more thing I want to ask you. We're carrying around huge materia. This is pretty delicate stuff, and we would like to keep it in a safe place. Oh, well, then we'll put it upstairs. Now, shall we be on our way? I'll teach you how to work the machine. Now, watch carefully now. You just pull this here... And those are all the steps. Didn't have to watch that carefully, I suppose. Oh, is this what you call huge materia? This is really rare materia indeed. Materia this rare is certain to have a special consciousness enclosed in it. So depending on your success rate in uh, procuring this huge materia or stealing it from Shinra or just doing other things, you may not have all four of these here. And I think that, uh, like, you want to have all four of these here because if you're the super grinding type, and if you have mastered one of every kind of a certain color of materia, then you can come back here and get, like, some very fancy sort of, like, ultra materia of that color. I don't know a lot of details around it. Comments can clarify further. I've never done this part. Huge materia. Is it? Glowing strangely? Uh, maybe. Get closer. The huge materia emitted a gentle glow. This color, it's the same color as magic materia. Which is, I guess, a hint. Sort of. Get closer? Is that Bahamut? Bahamut and Neo-Bahamut materia glow brightly, and... That gets you Bahamut Zero materia, the third and, I think, final Bahamut <laughs> materia you can get in seven. Which is already three Bahamuts, which is quite a lot. 
Anyway. I think we're done here. How do I go? I don't know how to get out. Oh, here we go. Go back down. Oh, oh good. Now let's leave. Do you remember how to use the machine down below? If you ever want to see Materia, come here anytime. Mmm, hmm. <laughs> smells like machinery. I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature, too. Hmm? Is the deck up there? Then I'll be on the deck, just passing the time. I can feel the workings of the planet and the smell of the wind. I also feel the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge and the smell of machinery. Well, bye for now. Just floats on up there. All right. We got a place to go. The last place we saw Aerith. We need to go back to the Forgotten Capital. Why was she going there? What did she think she was going to be accomplishing there? And Aerith, she's dead. I guess she turned into spiritual energy and returned to the planet, huh? But even if she did, there's no way we'll meet her again. True. I wonder what Aerith felt when she was on that altar. I'm sure she wanted to give her life for the planet. Really? I wonder. I don't think that's it at all. I think she didn't think she would die at all, but that she planned on coming back all along. She always used to talk about the next time. She talked about the future more than any of us. I'm enjoying these Aerith thoughts, everyone. I went and told Aerith's mom about her death. Yes, and Miss Elmira was crying herself silly. So was little Marlene. Well, thanks for passing on the bad news, I guess. Aerith used to pat me on the nose sometimes. I used to hate being treated like a child like that. But I also liked the attention. I wanted to apologize to her for what I did when we first met. Yeah, really, I didn't know everyone had thoughts about Aerith at this point. It's quite sweet. City of the Ancients. The Ancients. After a long time, that is probably what others will come to call us. Hmm. <laughs> it's only a matter of time for us. Oh, Vincent. Yuffie, I'm guessing you're too airsick to be feeling sentimental right now, but just in case. Cloud. Ugh. You know, I was thinking, ugh, why does Materia always have something to do with battles or magic? I bet the Ancients must have always been fighting. It must have been... Ugh, terrible. I hadn't thought about it in that context, but it's an interesting theory. Also makes sense you'd be thinking about Materia kind of 24-7. Aerith? I wanted to give her a ride in the high wind. Level 11 now. Believe in yourself, learner pilot. Let's go! To the Forgotten Capital. Which now, fortunately, thanks to this handy airship, we should be able to just fly to direct. Let's see. Where was it? Not there. Here we go. Assuming we can land down here, anyway. Oh, we can! Surprise, surprise! And we are back. And this is the wrong way, isn't it? This is how you get out. Or is it? I don't remember. No, I think this is right. Don't know if it's the way I'm supposed to be going, but... This is how we would get back down below.
if that were still an option, which it is not. Now we are blocked from getting down there by holographic fish. Ain't that always the way? Still really glad that they don't have enemy encounters here. Really serves the vibe, I think. This is... Yes, exactly. Are you getting something? Uh, give me a moment. Um, I'll try to figure out how to follow. How do I... Might need to go around the other way. Hang on, I can figure it out. Here we go. Sort of. Hang on. Got it. Figured it out. Got it. The knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. The planet's in a crisis. A crisis beyond human power or endless time. It says, when the time comes, we must search for holy. 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 The ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor. Perhaps our last hope to save the planet from Meteor. If a soul-seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Meteor, weapon, everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. Even us. It is up to the planet to decide. What is best for the planet? What is bad for the planet? All that is bad will disappear. That is all. Oh, I wonder which we humans are. Search for holy. How do we do it? Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bond the planet to humans. Then speak to the planet. If our wish reaches the planet, the white materia will begin to glow a pale green. This is the end. Aerith had the white materia. But when Aerith died, it fell from the altar. That's why this is the end. Ho <laughs> 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 still laughing! Look at this! Huh? Ancient's writing. Can you read it? I can't even make it out! This is no time for jokes. I'm not an ancient, I can't read this thing. I may be old, but my eyes aren't completely bad yet. And look closely below the writing. There's something written in chalk. Even sunlight can't reach key. It was probably written by a scientist who's been here. He probably used all his energy to make out these two words. Key. To what? I don't know. But it probably has something to do with our riddle. The riddle. Then it must have something to do with Aerith. So this note points to where the key is? Probably. Use these words as clues and go find the key. I'll continue to figure out the ancient's writing. A place even sunlight won't reach is where the key is, right? When you find the key, or when you can't go any further, come back here. Maybe I'll understand more from the writing and get some new information for you.
We have our mission. You haven't come up with anything else yet, have you? Remember, a place even sunlight can't reach is where the key is. Right. Okay, well, the search begins. Now, I assume that if you search around for a while and can't find anything, you come up empty. And you come back here, you might get some more hints or suggestions. And maybe there are other places around the world that you could chat with characters and get some ideas. Fortunately, I know where the thing is. Loosely. So we're just going to go get it. First, we leave town. Then, back in the airship, and fly down to our submarine, which we will need one more time. Here's where we left it, outside Junin. And we dive, but, you know, we'll dive in a minute. Emerald Weapon can't sass me up here. Let's make the most of it. Now, one way you might be able to piece together this riddle yourself uh, would be to be thinking like, okay, a place sunlight can't reach it could be that there are several locations in the world, like towns or villages or whatever, that that could describe, but you might reasonably assume, okay, well, maybe it's underwater somewhere. Somewhere way down deep. Like in a cave. And there's not, like, you can cover kind of the entirety of the available undersea regions reasonably quickly. I think the only explorable part of the ocean in the sub is sort of like this little center bit uh, between the three continents. But one thing that might narrow your search further is the thought, well, all right, what's like... If I go up north to near where that forgotten capital is, maybe it's underneath that. And wouldn't you know it, Do you think it's... Analysis completed. Okay, we still have our crew of prisoners in here, full time. Wow. Exact date of origin cannot be determined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Key of the Ancients. And we got it. Technically, I could have grabbed this earlier and had it ahead of time. Basically, as soon as you have the sub, you can come down here and grab the thing. But, um... Figured it might be more true to the usual experience of Seven. <laughs> Reaching the story point where you gotta go look for it first. Anyway. Back to the airship. Here we are. All aboard. Back up north. And let's go tell Bugenhagen the good news. We're back. We found it. Hang on. Let me run around the whole atrium here and then atrium's probably not the right word. Hello. Oh, you found it! That music box over there. I'll put the key in it. I'll go use the key. You all wait here. And watch closely what happens. Oh, oh, oh!
Neat. That's very cool. Now go inside. Hope may be inside. Or... This was just a screen to project an image. Look! Look at the image projected on the screen of the water! It's glowing. Ho ho ho! It's pale green! Aerith. Aerith has already prayed for Holy. After I gave up the Black Materia to Sephiroth, Aerith's words came into my dreams. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth, and to do that, there was a secret here. That was Holy. That's why she had the white materia. Aerith knew about here, and what she had to do. Aerith has left us great hope, but it cost her her life, her future. I'm sorry, Aerith. I should have figured this out sooner. You left us without saying a word. It was all so sudden, so I couldn't think. That's why it took so long for me to find out. But, Aerith, I understand now. Aerith, I'll do the rest. You mean we? What Aerith left for us, we can't let it go to waste. Thank you, Aerith. Aerith's voice has already reached the planet. Just look at the glow of the white materia. But... How about Holy? How come Holy isn't moving? Why? Something's getting in its way. Him. He's the only one that could do it. Sephiroth, where are you? Any further floaty thoughts? No. Well, I guess we know our objective now. Hello? What the? Whisper, whisper. Sorry, I was a little surprised. What happened? You remember when the Junin cannon disappeared? Actually, Rufus moved it. Moved it? That big thing? Where? Why? Rufus wants to destroy Sephiroth with it. That cannon operates on huge materia, but the huge materia has already been used in the rocket plan. Well, sort of. I mean, we actually we stole it and then kept it, and we have it in our little display room now, but regardless. So since the cannon's useless right now, he decided to move it. To a place where Materia... No, where Mako is gathered. And where's that?
I guess that makes sense. Look out! The city's got a gun! That's why, Reeve, it's your job to adjust the reactor's output. I see. <laughs> Don't worry about adjusting it, Reeve. Once you open it up all the way, everything will go full speed. Gah, ha, ha. The president's sure done it this time. If we can only defeat Sephiroth, the idea that Meteor will also disappear is based on different objectives. What? I don't know. Please remember, Mr. President, it was my idea to fire Mako reactor-powered shells. Will the shells really reach the far northern border? <laughs> of course. But, Mr. President, please do not call it a Mako cannon. This new weapon will be called... The Sister Ray. Wasn't it... wasn't it called that already? I thought, it, I thought that's the label it already had on it. On, It's fine. Why am I arguing about their internal branding for the town gun? Guess we gotta head out. You know, one thing I actually would love for them to do in the remake is to give a little bit more clarity as to why... Like, why Cloud and crew sabotage Shinra's efforts kind of in this back half of the game where it seems like the end goals are at least somewhat similar, right? Like uh, gathering huge materia to put it in a rocket to launch at Meteor is not how we would stop Meteor, but the goal is to stop Meteor. And now apparently they're trying to aim the cannon at Sephiroth, who we also want destroyed. Like there's goal alignment, even though the methods are very different. And I think that you can make a lot of very good arguments for why Shinra's methods, even just thematically, are not something that we'd want to further support. Like, further expending their planet's resources to try to stop the doom that <laughs> their use of the planet's resources created. You can do, you can make all sorts of good arguments, but the game as presented in the original doesn't really give any of that. <laughs> At least in the English translation. I feel like there's lots of opportunity there. And I'm sure that they will make that a bit more clear. I feel like I could use it. Anyway. Huh? What the? Whoa. It's a weapon! I am so excited to see how they handle weapon stuff. In the remakes as well. It's gonna be neat. What's wrong? It's a strange signal. From where? It's coming from this person? Wow. Hey. Oh, that was a surprise. The controls went crazy. This ain't good. Weapon came out of the sea and is headed straight for Midgar. The new weapon should stop him, right? I don't know if it's ready or not. Hey, what's gonna happen to Marlene? Oh, don't you worry, none. Marlene's in a safe place. She's with Aerith's mama. Barrett? What was that scratching just now? As long as Marlene's safe, who cares what else happens, right? I've been itching to say this to you for a while now. When you blew the Midgar number one up, how many folks do you think died? That was for the life of the planet. You gotta expect a few casualties. A few? What do you mean a few? What may be a few to y'all is everything to them who died. 
protect the planet. Huh. Y'all sure sound good. Ain't no one that'd go against you. So you think you can do whatever y'all want? I don't want to hear that from no one in Shinra. Nothing I can do about that. Stop it. Kate Sith. Barrett, he knows what he did. What we did in Midgar can't be forgotten, no matter what the reason. Right? We haven't forgotten, right? I know you. You can't quit the company because you're worried about the people in Midgar, right? Cloud? Okay, let's go. We'll beat Weapon ourselves. Hey, Cloud, you think we can win against that monster? We got a chance of winning, right? How would I know? But that's no reason for us to just let him go. We're going to Midgar to fight Weapon. Come on, let's move. It's gonna be a Weapon fight! I'm actually excited to see a lot more characterization happen for most of the characters you get in the back half of the game. It kind of feels like after Red. You got Yuffie and Vincent who are optional, so it kind of makes sense that they're, they don't get a whole lot of story moments or anything, but even Sid doesn't really get tons beyond his Rocket Town and space focused stuff. Like, it's not a lot of character interaction stuff. Feels like there's lots of opportunity. Same for Kate Sith characterization. Anyway, maybe not the most important thing right now. So, I mean, you can try to ram into it. But Sid gets mad. Hey, 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 what are you trying to do? To break the high wind? Let's fight on the ground. Okay, fine. So instead, we will come here and await our opponent. Who is taking their sweet time. I guess to be fair, they're kind of crossing an ocean. That would take me a while too, on foot. I do love that you can actually see it stomping across the world map, though. Here it comes! Hello. We fight. Say hello to Diamond Weapon. It might be in a little bit of trouble. Hey, that's a weapon for somebody. Uh, it is currently kind of immune to physical attacks, though, so let's, uh... Throw spells. You know, we haven't seen Phoenix yet. I don't think. Maybe we did. I don't remember. Here's Phoenix. Maybe we did see Phoenix. I don't remember. It does a bunch of damage, but also... Hey, Weapon, you're kind of blocking the shot. Whatever. It also revives downed party members, so that's cool. Also costs a lot of MP. Maybe we should go ahead and get... Well, maybe not big guard, but, like, haste going. Try to take the fight halfway serious. A little bit. It does look really cool. Alright. Comet 2 does pretty good. A few thousand, not bad. Whew, Bolt does very well also. Hey, can we hit you yet? Tifa, try hitting it. No? Okay. I can't remember when you're allowed to hit it.
Let's see how just Fire 3 does. Slightly less expensive. Eh. Underwhelming. Red, maybe use, like, an ether or something. Probably should have packed some more bolt materia, I suppose. We'll manage. Pretty good. Expensive, but good. I can see Red's just going to be downing ethers like water for the duration of the fight. Or maybe I win. That is also good. Hey, nice. A lot of experience for that. AP, too. And money. Kind of a drop in the bucket at this point, but still. What's wrong? Are you still looking for something? No, it's... feeling something. Yeah, it senses murder. Let's watch from the airship. Oh no! Let's hurry out of here! Something big. I'm talking really big's coming. <laughs> Mr. President, preparations for Sister Ray are now in order. <laughs> Any time is fine. Fire. I forgot how good the climactic build on 7 is. That's really cool, the city blacking out as all power gets diverted to this. Which direction is it going to attack from? Midgar. Marlene!
Damn. It went right through weapon. I see. They're after Sephiroth. The crater on the northern boundary. Sir, weapon's been defeated. The barrier has disappeared. Sir, a massive high density energy is headed towards Midgar. Whoa, weapons attacking! Run for your lives! What happens to Sephiroth? Northern Cave. Let's go see what happened to it. It's kind of quiet in here. Hey, Sid, can we get some music? Something? When Avalanche was just starting, we used to put up flyers everywhere. And now we're going up against Sephiroth. How about that? Feels like a long time ago. Now we're going to fight Sephiroth. I wonder what the inside of that cave looks like. You think Sephiroth is just sitting there waiting for Meteor? I wonder what that Sephiroth fella's up to. We'll find out as soon as I'm done pestering you all. Will we save the world if we beat Sephiroth? I'm frightened, but I'll do my best. Let's hurry to the northern cave. Defeat Sephiroth. Defeat the son of that beloved woman. Am I on the verge of committing another sin? Or am I atoning as best I can for only watching? I will leave you to think on that. I want to hear air sick thoughts. What's the pilot like? Tell him Yuffie says if he pilots the plane smoothly, give him my autograph. I don't know if that's going to be incentive enough, but I'll pass along the word. Maybe this is the time? Maybe. Hey, Cloud! Hey, you're level 14. Going up the ranks fast. Did, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, I think, I think we're reacting because they said, like, Hey, Cloud! <laughs> like, just by name. And we're like, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Caught us off guard. Well, we will go check the Northern Crater tomorrow, because... A lot's going on, and I don't know when it's going to slow down again. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Final Fantasy VII. Goodbye!